guys, it's Talisha. Today I am going to vlog my day. Um, I actually have a day off today, which is nice. So it is about 10am. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go get both horses because it's easier if I get them both together now as they are not at the paddock right in front of my house. So I'm going to bring them over and then I'm going to ride Bambi first and then... I'll ride Jep. I'm actually really really excited to ride Jep because I haven't ridden her for a while. Um, she's just been doing little bits and pieces and Kyle's been riding her a bit. A bit of a last minute decision. I am actually taking Jep to a team sorting <laughs> day on Saturday. A friend of mine messaged me and was like, hey we have a spot, do you want to do some team sorting? I was like, yeah, sure. I've never done it before, neither is my horse, but that's fine. <laughs> so if you guys have been keeping up to date with my videos, you will know that Jep has been retired from competitions, so I'm not competing her officially anymore, and I probably just won't be competing her in anything full stop. Um, there's no specific reason for this, she's more than fine to keep going with her work, um, you know, she's not got anything wrong with her, literally, she's just... A little powerhouse she's 25 for those of you who don't know she has no arthritis no issues whatsoever and um, I just chose to take the workload off her a bit because she's done so much for me and I just wanted to give her a um, you know a quieter life and she's always loved her sporting and things like that we've never actually done any cow sports together well neither of us have ever done it at all but I do think it's something that she'll really, really enjoy. So I figured I'll do it. It's not a competition or anything. It's just like 10 of us that hire out this um, team sorting arena. And we get given like 10 cows to use for the time we're in there. And we just swap over with pairs. And apparently some on times just for practice. Um, but it's not an actual competition. So there's no pressure or anything. And it'll just be a bit of fun. So I didn't have a stock saddle or anything that fit Jep. So, uh, along with that, I was like to my friend, oh, do you by any chance, like, have a stock saddle I could borrow or know someone selling one for cheap? So, yeah, I did buy another saddle. I'll tell you more about it once I show it to you. Okay, so I realised I said I've bought the saddle, but I actually haven't just yet because I'm going to try it on Jep first and ride in it. But um, yeah, because I'm lucky enough, because it's a friend of mine, I'm able to take the saddle home and try it out for myself. But I have actually put it on Jep and I've actually sat on it. I just haven't ridden in it. It was also on a pony that was like exactly the same shape as Jep, so... Um, I already had a feeling it would fit her. I don't know the brand of it, but as you can see, the saddle is in like amazing condition. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And there you can see the price, a hundred dollars. And look how great this little stock saddle is. Because I did have a stock saddle that I was using on Kai, but I did sell it um, because it just didn't fit me. It was massive. It was like a men's stock saddle where this one is a much better size for me. I haven't actually ridden it, as I said, but I have sat in it and it felt awesome. So yeah, there's no damage or anything to it. Honestly, it's a bargain and I can't wait to ride in it today. Okay, so I'm going to get the horses now. Um, I just wanted to show you what our paddock's looking like, considering it's the middle of winter. <laughs> So there's not much feed in it, obviously, because it is winter, but um, look how green it is. <laughs> we have had pretty decent rain on and off for the last month or so, and this paddock has been rested since the start of winter. So it's looking really good. Yeah, not bad for winter. But the horses are currently across the road, so... Um, which has been good because I've been able to rest our place quite a bit. So I'm just walking over to get them now. So the last two days I've been coming to work the horses. They've both been lying down. But today it's just Jep. <laughs> and Bambi is eating the hay that they still haven't finished from this morning. 
I mean, it's only 10 a.m., but I did feed them two hours ago, so I kind of thought they'd be done. <laughs> Jeff's like, seriously, that's this is the third day in a row you've come and interrupted my nap. Oh, Jeppy's rolling. Jeff will be happy that she's actually coming with Bambi today. I mean, it's not like we're going far, but just that she'll get to see Bambi in her sight because she is obsessed with Miss Bambles, isn't she? Yes, yes. Um, she has never been so attached to a horse as she is to Bambi. So you're going to be very happy. You're going to chase some cows on the weekend. Are you excited? Are you excited? Gonna be a little cow pony. I'm gonna go for a ride, Bambi. Yes? Go for a ride. <laughs> oh, Bambi. Bambi, Bambi. What you doing? And her beautiful tail. Alright, Bambi. Let's get you tacked up. Bambi is tacked up. We just need to put her bridle on. So, I'm going to put a bridle on and Jeppy is waiting patiently over here until we move around to the front and then she can come and just chill with us. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I just finished with Bambi. She was absolutely awesome. I only filmed like the first seven minutes of the ride on the camera because I want to make sure I have room for the rest of the vlog and for Jep. Um, but she was absolutely amazing. It's still a bit wet in our paddock from the rain and oh, she's just, it's honestly been so good for her to ride in a paddock that's not completely dry because she's adapted to it. And I mean, it's not really slippery obviously, but it's just a bit sludgy. So it makes the work a lot harder for her, especially being so young and green. Um, but she was absolutely, she was absolutely awesome. And um, we did all of our elementary laterals, walk to canners, canada walks. We did leg yield, shoulder ins, a bit of travers. And then we also started, well, I've done a little bit with her, but not much. Uh, we did the um, rain backs, which is something she finds really hard. She's obviously just like never been asked to back up under saddle. That's what I liked about Kai when he was um, started under saddle. He was taught the rain back from the start because it's a very handy thing to have, even if you're not doing it in dressage tests and competing with it. It's a very handy thing for them to be able to back up under saddle. And from how she reacted to it, she's obviously never been asked anything similar to backing up under saddle. Like she'll do it here if I ask her on the ground just lightly. I'll tap her on the chest, she'll back up. Um, it's not super responsive, but you know, she does it on the ground, and that's because I do it a lot with her on the ground and I teach her about the personal space because it's something that she didn't really have when I got her, she didn't understand personal space. But yeah, she was really, really good. She was awesome. Yeah. So I'm going to go untack her and then we'll get going on Jep. Look at this little fatty. <laughs> she is a whale. <laughs> You're so fat. 
<laughs> she's so fat. She also looks a bit strange because she's resting her foot, but I swear she is the easiest pony to have weight on. Don't mind her little shoulder rubs from her rug. I also just tried to neaten up her mane a little bit as it was getting a bit long. Gonna have to probably neaten it up again, it's not very even. <laughs> but, oh well, I'll worry about that later. I'm gonna try and get her tacked up. <laughs> she looks so unimpressed. She's like, whoa, what did you do to my mane? Okay, I have now put a riser, a front riser under the saddle because I just felt it was popping up a bit at the back and now it's not. So I'm hoping this will make a difference. Jeppy was awesome and definitely felt much better in the riser. The saddle fits much nicer now. It fit her pretty well before, but as you would have seen in the video, it's just popping up a little slight bit at the back, but it still gave her a lot of wither clearance and clearance for her shoulders, but it was just that slight bit where it was popping up. But now with the foam front riser, it has evened out and it feels great now. Thank Jeppy. I'm honestly really happy with the muscle condition she's managed to keep considering I haven't been working her like look at this still and that's not fat <laughs> I mean some of it's a bit fat but um, for her age because keep in mind as I said she's 25 so normally when they get to this age they're hard to keep muscle and fat on and look she's still got a really nice neck for her age and she's still really full around her bum She's just lost a little bit of muscle here. You can see these lines, which she doesn't normally have, but yeah, obviously, because I'm not working her as often now, she's just losing a little bit of muscle, but she's still really round and got a lot of coverage over her hind end, as well as obviously we know she's got a heap of rib, rib coverage. But yeah, she's looking really good. You are. She's kept herself really fit too because when Bambi's out of the paddock she actually runs around quite a bit and like I mean a lot like she we're, get, we're getting over that slowly aren't we little Jeppy but um so consider it sold. <laughs> All right so the girls are ready to go back to the paddock now both been washed now nice and clean and now I'm going to walk them back.
Bambi always chooses the one dirt patch in the paddock because she just loves to be filthy. This is why she's always filthy. <laughs> oh, Bambi. Big shake. <laughs> Jeppy's gone back to this morning's hay. Bambi's doing the same. <laughs> Oh, Jeff won't let you share, Bambi. <laughs> okay, so I'm done now, which is great. Both horses have been ridden and washed. So nice to have two clean horses. Um, <laughs> Jeff hasn't had a bath in so long, so it was nice to get her a bit cleaner. And now I'm back in time to have my lunch. I am getting hungry now, so and I think it's about 1.30 so I was out there for quite a while when I just had to ride too but I took my time it's the, what I've found really nice about going back to two horses instead of having the three now that I've obviously sold Kai it's been nice to put more time into these two like really be able to focus on them both because when I had the three I was still you know doing everything I needed to do for them but I wasn't able to spend that extra time doing things like whether it just be spending extra time grooming or you know little things like that I didn't have the time to do that but now with the one less horse it allows me to have extra time to pamper the two girls so it's been really really nice um, to just really focus on them and spend that extra time with them as I said. I am actually gonna go hop in the shower because I'm weird. I don't know if other people are like this but I'm the type of person that if I'm done being outside and doing everything like dirty for the day, um, hello Charlie, I will shower straight away. I don't like sitting in dirty clothes or like you know just sitting in my own filth. So as soon as I'm done I'm showering. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna shower and then I'm gonna have lunch. I have my lunch. It's chicken satay and I'm in my nice fluffy pajamas. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've had a shower, made my lunch and I'm just watching a bit of YouTube. Love Morgan Adams. You rock girl. <laughs> Charlie's happily having a snooze. Patch is too. And it is nice and sunny outside. What a beautiful day. Whew, I love how productive I am on days off. Like, as annoying as it can be that I don't rest on days off, I just, I don't know, I love when I get things done. I just finished and handed in an assignment and I handed it in a week early, which is great. So it means I have a week of just not having to worry about assignments. Um, I'm actually nearly finished my course. I finished my course in December, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start importing this video and then I'm going to start editing it. So I think I'm going to end it here because then once I've done that, I am done for the day. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely stay tuned for next week's video because I am going to vlog my team sorting. <laughs> and it will probably be very interesting on how it goes. Let's see. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!